Exposing your child to bacteria and germs in small dosages can be a good thing. WDSU medical editor Dr. Corey Abair explains. While staying germ free can prevent the spread of disease and infections, leading a cleaner lifestyle may be responsible for an increase in allergies among children. It's called the hygiene hypothesis. In the U.S., we've developed a cleaner lifestyle, and our bodies no longer need to fight the germs as much as they did in the past. As a result, the immune system has shifted away from fighting infection to developing more allergic tendencies. The body's immune system is designed to fight infection, bacterial, viral, and parasitic, but also recognizes foreign substances as allergens. With the advent of vaccines, however, the immune system is no longer taxed with fighting off life-threatening diseases such as polio and measles. And thanks to antibiotics, the immune system is no longer burdened to the extent that it was in the past with fighting common bacterial infections. Even our homes have changed how our immune system functions. Airtight doors and windows designed to save energy have created an increased concentration of indoor allergens. Plus, today's family is smaller, which lessens children's exposure to germs and infections. Families with three or more children tend to have fewer allergies because more children mean more germs and greater exposure to bacteria and viruses. Allergies are on the rise because our society has changed the way we live. As a result, people with allergies are having children with others who have allergies, which in turn creates a natural increase in the prevalence of our allergies in our society. So is there a way to find a balance in our super clean world? Well, finding a balance between healthy living and clean living may be a challenge. We all try to do our best with our children, but we definitely should not step back in time and stop immunizing our children against deadly diseases. But we should use more common sense. While we should keep our houses clean, we need to be diligent about changing our furnace filters and keeping allergens like mold out of attics and basements. I advise parents to let kids just be kids. Let them play outside with friends and don't worry about them coming into contact with dirt and germs. But always be cautious with children with life-threatening food allergies because that could be a true problem. I'm medical editor Dr. Corey Abair with your weekend house call.